I'm going to show you the two ways that you can get proxies to use in Premiere Pro. The first way, which is longer, is to use Premiere Pro to create the proxies. The more efficient way is if your camera supports it, like the FX30, it can create the proxies in camera on the SD card. Here's the longer of the two ways. You go to import, and I'll start from the beginning, and then you look at the root folder. So this is the, this is the camera SD card, and it's labeled in a strange way. Private, M4 root, clip, and here's a 30 second 4K video I created for this purpose. Import that. And you can see that it struggles a little bit. So anything over 4K is gonna struggle in some computers. And this is a 16 gigabyte RAM computer. And uh, so what proxy files do is attach to these source files and it makes, it makes it easier to edit these files and to scrub through them. So to create the proxies in Premiere Pro, you right click on the file, go to proxy, create proxies. I leave it on QuickTime, medium resolution, and I like to leave the destination to next to original media. Hit OK. That will open up Media Encoder. There's nothing you have to do but let the program do its thing. You'll see its progress in a little bit. Now you can imagine, this is just a 30 second video. It's gonna take about a minute or so to do. If you had an hour long video or a couple of hours long, it would take so long to create these files. This is why this is much longer. But once it's done, there's nothing you have to do and the proxy files are attached. You don't have to worry about converting from a low resolution proxy file to a 4K video. Once you export, it's, the, it's gonna export in the highest resolution that you record it in, which is fantastic. So it's almost done. And once it's done, you can just close Media Encoder because there's nothing else you have to do. You can tell the proxy files are attached because this icon is now available. If you don't see this icon, you gotta hit this plus sign and look for it amongst your button editors. Drag it down to this bar, hit OK. Now important, if you don't save this as a new workspace, every time you open Premiere Pro, you will have to go searching for this icon, the toggle proxy icon. So to save it as your workspace, you go to Windows, Workspace, Save as New Workspace. All right, so that's a longer way. So for each file, you gotta create a proxy and it's automatically attached. Let's start from the beginning. And if, if you have a camera that, that creates a proxies for you, you have to import the source media just like you did the first time, we'll start from the beginning. And we will ignore the proxies that you'll see in a little bit because this is what we created just now with Premiere Pro. We're gonna ignore that. We're gonna go searching for in a little bit the proxy files created by the camera. So this is just the source footage that we're importing. And here it is, just the source footage. We know there are no proxies attached because the icon is not on the video file. So to attach the in-camera created proxies, right click on the source footage, go to proxy, attach proxies. We've got to go search for it. Now this window pops up that asks you to which file do you want to attach a proxies. And notice that this one starts at 20012. The proxy file created in camera, in the Sony camera, will start with the same characters. Click attach, and then you've got to go search for it. Now it's not in the same clip folder, it's in a subfolder. It starts with the same characters, 20012, but then different characters at the end. I like that, hit OK, now it's attached. This is a proxy proxy file attached to it. You can see it scrubs through very easily. Very, very helpful. That's it.